In this video I'm going to show you how to use dodge and burn tools uh, with your photography works. Okay, so I'm going to use this photo here uh, as an example for demonstration. And when you take a look at your tools panel, you will find here this little icon and that's the dodge tool icon. When you go right click, you'll see you got a dodge tool and the burn tool and the ball shortcut is O and the uh, uh, dodge tool is for uh, lightening up the areas of your photo and the burn tool is for darkening up the areas of your photo. So I'm first going to choose the dodge tool. And uh, here you find the range option and then you, uh, you choose the shadows, midtones and highlights. And what you're choosing actually with this here is uh, which areas you wish that dodge tool affects. So if you choose the shadows, then use your dodge tool and we only affect the shadows. Okay, so if I set this to shadows, uh, and here we got the exposure, so you can just click over here and drag into the side to change it or just click on this little arrow here, move the cursor there. Uh, here you're choosing actually the density of the dodge tool, okay. So let's set it to 100 so you better see the differences. And, uh, or you can also use uh, 15, that's actually by default. And we're gonna leave this option uh, checked here, protect tones, and it will protect the tones of your photo. And I'm going to show you later the differences when you have this option checked and unchecked. So we got the shadows and exposure 50. So if we just now go over here, we see that nothing actually changes. And why is that? That's because the uh, here I don't have any shadows there, only a highlights. Okay, some. Uh, and um, but if I go over here, you will see the differences. Okay. So you just brush with this tool over your photo and it only affect the shadows. Okay. So if you change this to highlights and then go over here you'll see the difference. Okay, it now affect these areas where they are highlights. Like this. And if you lower these, for example like let's set to 50 and you will see not we lighten up only a little bit and if you set this to 100 and can lighten up the, uh, those areas uh, much more. Sorry, that's the density of your uh, uh, dodge tool. So, and let's see uh, how these, uh, what this option actually does. So I've just duplicated the background layer. Let's go to right click and duplicate the layer. And I'm going to choose the uh, mid tones, 100 exposure, and they're going to uncheck the protect tones option. So I'm just going to go over here. And I'm going to turn off this layer and I'm going to do the same with the protect tones option. So you can now see the difference. This is the with protect tones option checked and this is with the protect uh, tones option unchecked. Okay. So let's see now uh, the burn tool. Okay, the burn tool is working on the same principle. So uh, you're also choosing the range, exposure, you also got a protect tones option. So it's actually the same, uh, but he is darkening the areas and dodge tool is lightening the areas. So if I choose the shadows now, set this to 50, and if I just uh, brush over here with the uh, dodge tool, with the burn tool, excuse me, uh, it will nothing actually change as uh, only a little bit as the, these are highlights. So when I change this to highlights, and then click over there, you will see how it will darken up those areas. Okay. So it's the same with all of these, so you can choose the mid-tones and it will only darken up the mid-tones. So, and also uh, I'll show you the protect tones option. So I'm just going to duplicate the layer, you can uh, go to right click duplicate layer. Or, and uh, here I'm going to uncheck the protect tones, I'm going to use the mid-tones, exposure 50, okay like this. And here I will check this option. So you can see the differences. This is uh, with the uh, protect tones option checked and this is with the protect tones option unchecked. Okay. Uh, so you just choose uh, wherever you're using the dodge tool or a burn tool. You have to just choose the range uh, of which areas you wish to affect. Okay. So if you wish to affect the highlights 
I just gonna choose the highlights here. If I wish to darken them, I will choose the burn tool. If I want to highlight them, to lighten up them, I'm just gonna use the dodge tool. So, uh, and now just choose the exposure. You will probably, in most cases, use uh, much uh, less values than 100. Uh, so, but it depends on your photo, really. So, you just have to experiment. So, and then just use the tool as you like. Okay. So, and also you have seen the differences with the protectons, checked option, and unchecked. So, it also depends on your photo. Sometimes this will work maybe better for you, sometimes not. Okay, so just experiment with that. So, I hope you understood everything and thanks for watching.